Welcome to our presentation. In this video, we will be discussing about the electrical package design and the thermal management system of a Formula Student electric vehicle. Without further delay, let us get into the video. Let's begin with electrical package design. Our electrical package design includes various features and the first and foremost feature of our electrical package design is the accumulator management system, which, is, which acts as the heart of our car. The accumulator management system is specific. The system is specifically designed for our motor, which has an energy requirement of 7 kilowatt hour. The nominal capacity of each cell which we used in this management system is 75 ampere hour and nominal voltage of the whole battery is 96 volt. And uh, the battery arrangement and everything will be discussed in the further slides. The battery chemistry which we used is NMC chemistry, nickel, manganese, cobalt and each cell gives a voltage of 3.6 volt. The balanced voltage of each cell is 4.2 volts. The features of our AMS is completely hardware based. So it has specifically three main leads coming out of the AMS, which is under voltage, over voltage and over current. And it has safety features like overcharge protection and over discharge protection. The overcharge detection voltage is 4.25 volt and over discharge detection voltage is 2.5 volt. And each will be released in a delay time of 10 millisecond to 300 millisecond. Battery charger, it is an external output charging type battery operating on the condition of constant current, constant voltage charge. The input current is the standard 230 volt, a 50 hertz AC, and the output voltage is 109.2 volt, um, which gives an output current of 30 ampere, uh, totals to a watt wattage of 2.88 kilowatt. The, Charging efficiency of our battery is 88% and it roughly takes around 7 hours for our accumulator to be completely charged. Um, the charging contact which we use for our accumulator is then Anderson connector type. This connector type is best known for its safety features and it is widely available. So it can be easily replaced. The type of the connector used is crimp and clamp which once connected, won't come off very easily unless it is pulled. Um, this uh, this is the um, mot our control system, the electrical motor with our control system. It has various features. The features include the voltage of 72 to 120 volt DC, which is given to the motor, and rated power of 20 to 25 kilowatt, and the power peaks around 50 kilowatt, but that's for around one minute. The uh, speed of our motor varies to 3200 to 5000 RPM under normal conditions. And the rated torque is 80 Newton meter. Uh, and the peak torque for around one minute is 160 Newton meter at the time of starting. The efficiency of our motor is greater than 90 percentage. Weight is less, weight is um, roughly around 35 to 40 kilograms. And it is, it is cooled by a pump thus it is liquid liquid cooling is used in our motor and kelly controller is used for our motor which is uh, which is specialized which specializes in pldc motor the reason we chose pldc motor for our vehicle is for the following reasons it has very high torque to weight ratio and very good dynamic response it has a very high efficiency, which is discussed above as above 90%. So we will get most out of our car for the power we give. And uh, because of the lack of frictional losses, uh, because there is no brush, we have high operating life. The uh, same, because of less frictional losses, the operation is noiseless. Speed ranges is very high. For around 90 km per hour, we get an uh, efficiency around 91%. The controller, as said, as mentioned above, is Kelly controller. Superior speed control and high stability of input fluctuations makes this controller stand apart from everything else. Um, this is the motor, the left, which we see, which you see on the left is our motor, and the pipes which come uh, in and out is the liquid cooling system, and the right RS232 is our Kelly controller. And this electronic box with control unit uh, has the is used for it. It is kept basically it is kept inside the accumulator container. This is 
this comprises of three types of sensors one is used for temperature one you see on the left most is lm lm35 which is used for temperature sensing the second is an a 16 is to 16 is to max which is used for uh, data logging purpose of the voltage of individual cells and the right rightmost is the current sensor which is hall effect type these are uh, placed inside the accumulator container and it is used for data logging purposes protection relays are also included in the accumulator container ground low voltage system this is also an another heart which you can say because it sub, it supplies each and every sensors which is a part of our car the lv it is an lv battery obviously and it has it is rated at 12 voltage and 12 ampere it is led as a type battery um the chassis and the lower part of the firewall is grounded to the lv to this battery the shutdown circuit which is an integral part of our car is also the part of this glvs the coolant pump from which we cool our motor is also powered through this frankly speaking it is it is connected to a distributed network of this uh, it is connected to a distributed network which is main purpose is power supply and grounding uh high voltage wiring is done with maximum precaution for the safety and the wire we have used is a silicon insulated single core high voltage automotive cables which is usually available in all the electrical markets the cross section area is 15 mm square the continuous current rating is 400 amps at uh, 60 degree celsius and the maximum operating voltage is 900 volts which is way higher than the voltage that we use in our battery uh the temperating temperature rating is around 180 degrees celsius so any high temperatures will not uh, damage the wiring so this ensures the maximum safety of the wiring next up we have the accumulator container so in the accumulator container houses the all the cells that is the battery pack that we are using the all the lithium ion uh, battery uh, cells are stacked uh, in the series cell module of 26 cells and all the internal wiring are done using small wires and uh, we have an uh, accumulator isolation uh, relay uh, immediately after a fuse so the fuse is rated for uh, 150 amps and the AIR uh, ensures the safety operating conditions which is actuated using the ground vo- low voltage system and the cells are uh, separated 5 mm apart using a fire retardant insulation sheet and the commu- uh, con- the container has uh, separate uh, charging ports and uh, discharging ports so the charger is uh, separately operated from the load side and the container dimensions are uh, 50s to 30s to 35 cm the power electronics used all the electronics other than the ones used in the accumulator i mean management system uh, are included in this section so all the general purpose electronics are included here for the data logging purposes we are using an arduino mega uh, sorry arduino mega uh, which has a microprocessor at mega 328b uh, the driver interface is done using a raspberry pi with an led display uh, which uh, displays the three factors that is the speed range and the on off state of the vehicle next up we have the brake lights and the buzzers and all the pcbs all the pcbs are two layer integrated circuits which are uh, used for the indication low voltage circuitry and data logging purposes pre charge and discharge circuits are the main part of the safe operation of the vehicle this ensures the the limits the in, maximum inrush current to the uh, controller so what we do is directly connect the negative terminal and then uh, connect the positive terminal to the uh, controller via a resistor precharge resistor which is rated 2 kilo ohms 20 watts and then after the 90% uh, continuous operation has occurred uh, we switch the main terminal of the battery to the controller directly the time before the second ar closes is 2 seconds so that is how fast the ar i mean the precharge circuitry works which is operated by the low voltage glvs system 
and then uh, due to the capacitance internal capacitance effect of the controller uh, there is a lot of charge withheld in the controller so it has to be discharged before uh, removing or operating on it manually so this uh, re- uh, discharge circuit on the right hand side we see here uh, which houses a 1 kilowatt 1 kilo ohm 12 watt resistor which completely de- uh, discharges the controller and it is placed behind the firewall safety circuits are the most important uh, features of the car so we have a bender imd insulation management device which continuously measures the resistance between the high voltage line and the low voltage line which is usually 100 kilo ohms or 500 ohms per volt whenever this uh, criteria or this threshold resistance goes below 100 kilo ohms or 500 volt per 500 ohm per volt Uh, the IMD outputs a signal which is used for activating the shutdown circuitry. With, that is open, opening the shutdown circuitry. Next up, we have the BOT switch. That is brake over travel switch. So what happens is whenever a brake circuitry fails, at least one of the brake circuitry fails, the uh, BOT switch is op- uh, is used to open the shutdown circuitry. we have the bspd that is a brake system plausibility device which ensures that there is no hard braking done and then the shutdown circuitry opens whenever it is done master switch and shutdown buttons are the key features which are operated by the driver manually uh whenever the vehicle is ready to go all the shutdown buttons and the master switch are engaged manually by the driver to operate the vehicle Next we have the HVD high voltage disconnect which is like a high high speed fuse ensures a maximum safety uh, that is it doesn't allow the current to gain up to 350 amps So in this picture we can clearly see the uh, shutdown circuitry on the left hand side and the top right hand side uh, shows the hvd that is a high voltage disconnect and the bottom circuitry uh, displays a bspd that is a brake system plausibility device sensors are crucial for the uh, operation of this electric vehicle so we have the app sensor which is a, a hall effect type sensor so here the sensor is used to, to measure the amount of uh, pedal pressing on the that is actually done so based on this uh, uh, the force exerted on this pedal uh it gives a, a control input to the con- main controller the controller based upon this input actuates the motor accordingly it is placed uh, directly below the accelerator pedal next up we have the inertial switch inertial switch or a resettable uh, crash sensor is placed in front of the main vehicle uh, with a minimum force whenever this force uh, is occurring Uh, the crash sensor is enabled which will uh, trigger the shutdown circuitry and open it the cooling system consists of a radiator and a pump the motor and the controller are liquid cooled using a downflow radiator or a crossflow radiator any radiator with same measurements are equally effective so radiators are selected based on the fitment and geometry of the vehicle the pump is selected based on the maximum permitted flow rate and the pressure we can understand the working of the cooling system from the circuit the other miscellaneous design tasks are motor coolant fittings fan mounts duct design pump mounts and other mounting tabs thermal management eight cells are monitored at strategic locations by lm35 for temperature if the temperature exceeds 45 degrees celsius the cooling fans are engaged if the temperature rises above 50 degrees celsius for almost 1 second AMS switches of the tractor system via shutdown circuit. Two axial cooling fans are pre- placed on either side of the casing, each for inlet and outlet. The openings are covered with temi sheets which prevents water or dust particles from entering into the accumulator. So we conclude our presentation here and thank you for watching.